You drive. <laughs> Wait, you the guys walk around in circles Bye. in the street. Where are we headed? <laughs> Look at him. So are you all right there? So are you okay? <laughs> this guy must have escaped the loony bin. <laughs> what? Sir, I, I don't think that's me. I think that's you. If we don't find you handsome, we should at least find you handy. Are you sure? Are you, are you okay, man? Are you all right? Let's see if you see. Your ears. <laughs> Okay. So where do you want to go? It's Ryan's place. Still going. Are you Matthew Ryan? Who's asking? Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson squad. Arson? You heard the man. I'll just put this stuff in the car and I'll be right with you. Hold it, Ryan. I said, son of a bitch. Those are GI's backyards and crashing through. The damage is only cosmetic. He's a one man wrecking ball. Move in. I'll take out the man. Damn. Kill those men. They'll get out of the way. Only if they hear him coming. Close in, Phelps. We need to take Ryan down before he hurts somebody. Don't go to sleep on me. Get it close. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Got an arson and he's running. Running don't mean nothing. We gotta get this guy in the room before we can get an angle on him. This man has got to be stopped. Nice. Show me your hands. <laughs> Why did you run, Ryan? I was scared. You got a reason to be scared, Ryan? Matthew Ryan, I'm arresting you on suspicion of committing a series of arsons. Let me guess, we're gonna have to choose one or the other. We have three suspects. As much as I'd like it to be, you know the way. I you think it's drive. one of the other two guys. Let's get to the station and close this case. Hmm. Hold on one second. I have two suspects. Phelps, you got nothing. Biggs, Ryan's waiting for you in interview one. Varley's in two. Hey, Hopkins, you practicing your asshole routine again? Come on, Phelps. <laughs> oh, Susie, you are so bad. <laughs> you beat her up so bad. When I found him, I returned the favor. Uh, which one is that? I don't care. I don't Wait. go in for letting gangsters off scot free. So what next? What now? Ryan is our first port of call. Need a drink. I got the jitters again. That, that's Varley. Okay. I talked to Varley first. We have Matthew Ryan in custody, Varley. 
I think all we need to do is ask him about this, and he'll write you out. Fuck Ryan, that pinko bastard. Have you ever worked on a place on Rosewood Avenue? Family by the name of Sawyer? Maybe. I, I'm from out of town. I go where they send me. I, I, I don't do a lot of repairs, though. I'm flat out on new installations. Why are you lying to me, Barley? If Suburban wants their new installations completed, why are you bothering with Rex like the Sawyer house? So I'm lying just because I can't remember if I was there or not? <laughs> How can you prove that I was? Well, he wasn't there, right? Sawyer family, he had original Barley. Yeah, okay, he was. Your name is on the inside door of their water heater. Okay. You got me there. Suburban, yeah, they wanted that guy out. Sawyer kept complaining about not being able to get his heater service, so they threw in a free service as a sweetener. I think he played him, though, because he still wouldn't sell. What would reversing the diaphragm of an Insta Heat Model 70 do? Yeah, I made that mistake before. You get a big bang when you turn the pilot back on. So you didn't deliberately sabotage the water heater at the Sawyer house? No, I did not. You out of your mind? Give me something, Barley, or I'll put it all on you. Hey, look, I could try to pin this on one of the other guys, but I'd just be making something up. Leave. We're done for now. So what happens? You're either going back to Detroit to face a murder rap, or you're staying here to answer for these arsons. All right, over to... The Canary says he'll sing, but only if I guarantee he walk. Uh, right here. Save yourself some time and get this thing off your chest. <laughs> if that's your opening gambit, you better try again. <laughs> All right, Arcanist literature. So you want to change the world, Ryan? Yes, I do. So does every reasonable person. And you're doing your part? Yes, I am. Does that include sabotaging water heaters to destroy a company? I have no idea what you're talking about. This is industrial sabotage, Ryan. It's all part of your campaign. You delusional detective. What campaign? The Arcanist. Pamphlet. Yours, specifically. Your locker is full of pamphlets. Clemens told us how you were always foisting them on people. Sure. I spread the pamphlets. A guy has to do something. Insta-heat heaters break down every day. They're still peddling the same lousy design that they lifted from Hephaestos. Insta-heat bought out Hephaestos? Them, Vulcan, Pyro, and a bunch of other companies. And you still work for them. A guy has to work. And the directors of the company. How do you feel about them these days? You work it out. You know how to reverse a diaphragm in the regulator valve of a Model 70 heater? No, I don't. If you know enough to do your job, you know enough to do that repair. You're lying, Ryan. And how do you think you can prove that? Uh... Barley's locker, regular valve, covered from sort of resonance. This. Looks like you're the one who needs <laughs> advice on how to do his job. What can you tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? I Nothing. didn't feel like that was going to connect, but I was going to give it a try. I think Suburban is a front for your anarchist buddies. They're arranging for people to be out of town while you burn their houses down. Suburban? What's that got to do with me? That's Farley's bilk. He's the one with the cozy agreement with those fascists. Hmm. You have a history of violence. I have no such thing. 
<laughs> You're lying, Ryan. And how exactly are you gonna prove that? Your criminal record. You were charged with attempted murder, Ryan. It was a court case. No criminal liability was the verdict. They said that they couldn't have known that the faulty heater installation would cause a fire. All I know is I lost my whole family. And the company that was responsible got away with it. What would you do? Which company? Asbestos Water Heater Company. Uh... That's it for the moment, Ryan. So I can go? Sure. As soon as your red friends storm the building and carry you out, you'll keep your seat until we decide how long to lock you up for, knucklehead. Let me go back to the other guy. So bad. I gave his wife a pass. I said, all fair and love No. Yeah, I want to make homicide. You know, you've got it made if you can get to that bad. Matthew Ryan, I'm charging you with committing a series of arsons and for the murders of Hank Sawyer, Edwina Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. You're putting an innocent man away here. You hear me? I didn't set any fires. I didn't kill that family. All right, man. <laughs> Phelps, what you did to your wife and kids was on America. My wife threw me out. Did I ask for your opinion? You're here to listen to mine. What I was going to say before I was interrupted was you did a good job on the Stefan Sawyer case. We don't often get results in arson, so well done. What about me? Do I get a little stamp by my hand or a lollipop or something? What <laughs> you get is another case. A bad one, unfortunately. All right. Not bad. Case closed. You're two blocks behind first and second. We have more buildings to clear. You know our orders, There's Sergeant. There's barely a building left standing or not on fire in your zone, Cole. Is your sector full of Japs? Questioning my command. The captain doesn't want anyone falling behind. I tell the captain we will join him when the job is done. Just give us the word, Sarge. We'll take care of him. He should be sectioned. That Jap lover's a fucking liability. We're here to kill Japs, not our own people. Starcross, son of a bitch. No one wants to serve under him. He's bad fucking luck. You can it. We have a job to do here. If I can live with it, you can too. Oh, boy. I walk in the Elysian fields. It's like the origami killer. House fire. Bad one. At least four Vicks. Get out there and find out what you can. The address is 650 North Hobart. All right. I want to make homicide. You know you made it if you can get that gas. 
investigate residential I house fire. But then what's my opinion against thousands of others? I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Can you drive to this one? You hear about Rancho Escondido? Are we having a conversation? Okay, fuck it. Forget it. I'm teasing you. <laughs> Tell me about it. The new housing development's a couple of weeks from completion. Burned to the ground last night. GIs are ready to move in this weekend. Oh, is gonna have some very angry customers. Oh boy. Pretty heavy hitter. House fire, 11.41 a.m. Better see this. I hope you have strong stomachs. Oof. You have a name. Morelli, Mike. We recovered a picture of the family. Okay. Anything else? To be honest, I just got here, Phelps. Best you talk to Lynch. He's the expert. Doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. Ooh. I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. It wouldn't have felt a thing. I think the fire damage is post-mortem. I think someone moved them into this room after the explosion. It still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? What are you doing? Prayer effect is from the fire. The muscles and tendons contract. Please. You ever think about how many people have died in this world? how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them bigs no i have not show some respect it's our boy i think he watches the fires i think the sawyer fire went wrong so what about the guy we have in jail phelps we got the wrong guy that doesn't explain why he ran into a burning building what would make anyone do that guilt for the fire for his mistake this guy wants to burn houses not families he expects the houses to be empty. He was trying to redeem himself. He probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. <laughs> it could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? I'm sure, it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? Might fit, Cole, but I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. Evidence! Albert, Oof. check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same M.O. Sure, Phil. I'll get back to you. Leave the rest to us, Cole. You better find out what's eating pigs. He's like, man, this shit's messed up. Basement's flooded. That's where the explosion went off at. Herschel, come on. Yeah, two is up there. Is 
So something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me, and you won't be pretty much longer. <laughs> we can get this guy, Herschel. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the second Marines at Bella Wood. The things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys on fire, screaming for a way out. You're not gonna get this guy. There's gonna be no photos and no citations. We're gonna kill this miserable fuck. End of story. You get this? You remember the list from the travel agent? Sure. The Morellis were winners too. Their name was on that list. Christ. We should take a look around, work the neighbors, see what they know. I'll go across the street. Okay, I'll try this side. I haven't done this for years. <laughs> I got you don't look like a fire, son. About 50 bucks for an explosive. Wait, there's more clues. Maybe I'll try chatting with them, I guess, before we look for any more. LAPD. Can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Imagine after having won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? Foreman. Dudley Foreman. Dudley Foreman. Rally fire Did witness you see report. Or hear anything that might have Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. And then what happened? It was like Pearl Harbor with bits of the house raining down. Blew out all of our windows to face the place. I'll okay, you come by and take your statement. Hopefully you'll be a little bit more cooperative with him. Come on, kid. I'm doing my best here. You were talking about the competition, right? Catalina Island? I've got one of the flyers in the kitchen if you're interested. You smoke heavily, Mr. Foreman. No. I never touch tobacco. Why do you ask? What the hell? Those aren't mine. Any luck, Cole? A couple of things. What did you pick up? Hold a piece of paper. Looks complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. Paper crane. There's a legend about them. You fold 1,000 of these and you get a wish. Hey, don't break it. I'm not. I'm unfolding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. For what? For Elysian Fields developments. Elysian. I keep saying Elysian. Oh, I see you already have one. Hmm. When did the flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. All right, so we've still got some clues around here. Jeez. What's this? Okay, so it stops right here. And then it picks up. Footsteps. He was wearing boondockers. I would know that imprint anywhere. Hmm. 
Is it a newspaper? <laughs> it is. Housing development burns. Ex service. How did you get my number, Ira? At first, I didn't understand you. But now I do. I'd like you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now, Doctor. I think you are confused. You haven't been to the clinic for weeks. I'm not confused anymore, Doctor. I'm helping people be together. This world is only temporary. We'll all be happier in heaven. Why don't you tell me where you are and I can come to you? I think the fire should end now. They have served their purpose. All oh, the fires are only beginning, Doctor. After the fires, everything will be beautiful and clean. Everything will be erased. The world will be fresh and new. I can see my purpose now, Doctor. And you helped me to find it. Oh, boy. What have you done, Doctor? Oh, here's the uh, the heater right here. Looks like the same model. Reginald. Do you have any more clues? The music stopped. Guess not. Is somebody gonna tell us what the hell's going on? I need an address for a property developer. Elysian Fields Developments. One moment, detective. The address is 748 North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Anything else? Messages, please. You have a message. Contact Captain McKelty immediately. Thanks. Can you call hey. through, operator? Of course. Here you are. Commander? Elysian the Morelli Farm. We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Developments. You're about to do what? Leland Monroe? He's a personal friend of the mayor and the chief. Are you out of your mind? I'm warning you, Phelps. <laughs> Commander, we have a line of inquiry. You have something you bring it to me. You're hanging by a thread, Phelps. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. Have a report on my desk today. Son, you're a couple of slates short of a full. Kelty has warned us off over a lesion. Makes sense. It's a dead end. We should check out Rancho Escondido. You know the place? Sure. Corner of Fountain and Wilton. Let's go. Can you drive to this one? Fine. Well, you know where we had it. Shame about Jeff. The arson desk has been trying to nail that son of a bitch for years. He's still in custody, Herschel. Wanna bet? Bella kicked him loose already. Can't hold him for misdemeanor cigarettes and matches. <laughs> Rancho Escanido. <laughs> you know, Escanido. There are times when you really miss a nightstick. Five There's more religion in the end of a nightstick than in a hundred cathedrals. I'm not gonna tell you again, sir. Don't tell me when and how I can come and go on my own property. It is not this is safe, American, sir. dickhead. Now step back or I'll lock you up for Smart a break. Son of a bitch! Come on! Oh god. Yeah, we got a break. fist fight in a long time. This isn't the answer. Come on then. But you break them out. Look at this boomer. Oh. oh, damn. 
Good thing you showed up when you did, detectives. Those folks were baying for blood. Okay, then. Let's see if there's anything left to take a look at. stops on this side that has to be on this side there it is mortar is like dust is that normal in a fire expect some shrinkage in the heat but it looks like the cement barely adhered to the brick doesn't appear to be any wall ties either this thing looks like it was built on the cheap damn if we're paying a visit to Alicia and ruining my career let's bite the bullet and get on with it Okay. How about we roll around in the, uh, the fire truck? <laughs> Let's see if we can get in it. Fine. If the skipper sees us driving around in this, we're dead. You drive. How will we go to the case? Get around in this thing, Paul. <laughs> well, he's driving it. Take us on over there. <laughs> Nice. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD, to see Leland Monroe. Do you have an appointment? We're the police, lady. We don't need an appointment. Can I tell him what it's about? It's an official investigation. There are two police officers here to see Mr. Monroe. Send them through. All right. And that's our cue. Thanks, ma'am. May I help you? We would like to speak to Mr. Monroe. I'm afraid it's impossible. Mr. Monroe's schedule is booked weeks in advance. Cut to the chase, sister. Is he in? I'm not at liberty to reveal that officer. So he hired you for your intelligence? I find that offensive. You have every right to. This is getting us nowhere, miss. Consino. Would you like us to return with a warrant? That won't be necessary, gentlemen. Come into my office. Hey. You like a cigar? Drink, boy. Sure, I'll have a scotch. Biggs. Damn. Bro. What? Imagine. What? $10,000 for a house like that. Nice. Nice. We're investigating a series if of domestic only. fires, Mr. Monroe. It's terrible, boys. How can I help? Place hand link to arsons. Elysian Field Elysian. and Suburban Redevelopment Fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? So that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? Coincidence? Explanation? Why, what's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards for 
buyers and I advertise for sellers using Waybill. We hear that Suburban is under severe time pressure to complete work on the new houses. I think you're getting heavy-handed about it and it's gone wrong. I hope you have some proof of how I'm involved in this. I'll be happy to sue you for whatever you're worth. You're off the hook for now. Doubt. Use intuition. Ask the community. Doubt. We found a family burnt out in their home. Another house burned to the ground. Another Elysian Fields flyer. Our information is that they didn't want to sell. Are you saying that's something to do with me? Is that your point? Oh, it is. Every time we find a family barbecue, we find one of your flyers. Is that good advertising? <laughs> Promotional travel what do you contest. Know about a competition for families to win free vacations to Catalina Island. My company runs many promotions. I'm, I'm, I'm not familiar with that one. Level with me, Mr. Monroe. You know all about the vacation offers. You can believe whatever you like, son. You're missing the vital ingredient called proof. I can't prove that it's he like knows about all of them, but I can doubt him. Two families okay, dead, apparently, Mr. maybe Monroe. I this can. This isn't a question of criminal liability. We're looking at conspiracy to commit murder. Do you know who you're talking to, son? You want to use incendiary language like that with me? I suggest you should leave immediately. We've made offers to buy houses in areas where fires have been recorded. Are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes so that I can sell them new ones? What happens to your plans if a family like the Morellis refuses to sell? We work around them. Business finds a way. That's the American way. Come on, Mr. Monroe. You expect me to believe that you would build a new development with one of those old piles smack bang in the center of it? Progress is an inexorable process, detective. Those who choose to stand in defiance are usually confined to the waste basket of history. To answer your question, yes, we would build around them if we had to. Most people see sense. Rancho Escondido. What's Elysian Fields' involvement in Rancho Escondido? One of our latest housing developments. It was due to open on the weekend, or was before the unfortunate conflagration. It met with building code regulations. Absolutely. Only the best for our returning heroes. Except for... Lying, Monroe. There's something out of kilter about that development. Son, I've had enough of you and your fidgety friend. There's no way in hell you can prove that my materials were inferior. I'm no expert. I can, I though. find that the bricks being used on those houses are undersized, and the mortar is faulty. And there's no wall ties connecting the masonry to the frame. Every building is built to a budget, boys. Those buildings were inspected and fully insured by California Fire and Life. Investment of that magnitude demands it. Do you think that they'd vouch for the buildings without examining them? The arsonists. Do you have any suspects? We aren't at liberty to say. I didn't think so. The contractors I use for waybills. Do you suppose it could be any of them? I have a list of their names, if it would be of any help. That would be very helpful, Mr. Monroe. Glad to hear it. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. My secretary will provide you with that list. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? <laughs> Glad to be of help, officer. Oxer, what's this one? Outwit and Leland Monroe when discussing his development or advertising campaign? <laughs> what's the story? Any of these names ring a bell? 
Chapman. Herbert Chapman is on this list. Find the phone. We need to know where we're at with Chapman. You'll never find out. Your boss is a fine man. That's that creep. Walked out on his wife. Where's the phone at? Here it is. She wants a five star goddamn wedding. What the hell? Oh, here's one. There you go. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. That cable is How very you, uh, attached. Can you check whether we are still holding a Herbert Chapman? Like very. It doesn't look like it's very long. <laughs> There's not any really like leeway morning, for it. I'm sorry, detective. It's not your fault. Can you give me a last known address and put out an APB on the guy? I'll get back to you, Detective. APB will go out over KGPL shortly. Thank you. Nice. Well, I love the chase till the minute I win it. A beautiful face delivers love for me in it. Give me your heart. And baby, I'll bill it Cause I always kill The things I love Some Buy me a drink, Cole? No! Not even for old time's sake? Not even for that. You're not gonna ask me why I'm here? I wouldn't give you the pleasure. I'll get around to it. She's in fine voice this evening. I wonder how the commander would feel Save about... the threats for someone who cares about the boy. You're breaking my heart, Cole. You know how I feel about you. Stay away from Elysian Fields. I should have known that you were playing Aaron. You and your doofus partner. You have been warned. Thanks for your cooperation, officer. I love you. Stay away. You have no idea the type of people that are involved in that company. I have a pretty good idea, Roy. The same kind of people that sent you here. Your investigation is finished. Homicide will be taking over from here. I've heard we've had a spate of grass fires in the hills that you and that hunchback might be able to handle. Thanks for the drink, Cole. <laughs> Leaving Elsa's Get apartment. Eight forty-five. Yeah, Earl delivered it. You, the Celt, started making noises about my pension. Sorry about that, Herschel. I didn't mean to drag you into this. Save me, Phelps. Monroe was an asswipe. And so was Earl. And so was McKelty when it's all said and done. <laughs> Calling the car 11K, 11K. 11K, go ahead. You're behind the wheel. All right. Where to? Chapman's house. Looking for Herbert Chapman. I'm looking for him too. I need him to move his car so I can mow the lawn. He's definitely not here. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple of hours. Yeah. A couple of hours, sir. It's some 8 a.m. Look at the car. <laughs> Let's see what he's hauling around. Motive, opportunity, and hard evidence.
should revise the APB. He's clearly armed. Definitely gives him opportunity. Hmm. Hold it, Cole. There he is. It's Chap. He's coming out of the laundromat. Shit! He's seen us! Cops! Again! Son of a bitch! He must have got the trolley. We gotta move Damn. fast, Cole. I'll call this in. Get some cars dispatched. Car 11K calling KGPL. 11K requesting assistance. In pursuit of suspect aboard the 1110 University streetcar. Currently heading east on Melrose Avenue. Advise all units. Suspect is in control of car and driving dangerously. Stay on his ass, Paul. Don't lose him. We won't. We won't. Not like he can go very far. See if he can damage one of the wheels. Might act like a brake and slow the thing down. Look, Cole, the side plate's gone. Get me closer. I think I got a shot here. I need to be closer, pal. End of the line, you little prick. Come on, Cole. Ah! Oof. Looks like we have our man, Cole. Well done. I'm not so sure. Chapman seemed to have his own agenda. Seems to be more to this than a personal vendetta. What are you talking about? The fires benefit a lesion in some way. I see Chapman and Monroe working together. You have a point. The evidence is good for Chapman. Hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that big 45. Nice work, gentlemen. Put yourself at considerable risk stopping that trolley and probably saved a lot of lives. Anyone else but you, Phelps. It's literally been one hour a case. <laughs> We've had our eyes We're on, on that hour three right now. Chapman for as long as I can remember. And we saw three cases. Couldn't be happier than to wipe him off the scoreboard. I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. What were you thinking, Phelps? I'll be calling Richard Nixon a crook next. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? A letter from Lou. His insurance policy named me beneficiary. California Fire and Life. You worked for Elysian? The roof that he was working on collapsed. It's a very generous settlement. Elsa, I'd like you to do something for me. I think there's something dirty about Elysian Fields. What has that got to do with Lou? I want you to reject this settlement. I want you to go and see an investigator named Jack Kelso and ask him to make some inquiries about Lou's case. Isn't this police work? Do you want to find out what happened to Lou? Why would he help this Kelso? Jack won't be able to help himself if he smells a rat. He is a friend of yours? He hates my guts. Elsa, you could take this money and let them get away with it, or we could get Jack's help and do something about it. Why not be honest with this man, Cole? He deserves your honesty if you want his help. Believe me, Elsa, I'd like to level with him. I really would, but it's too late. Years too late. Years too late. There it is. Wow, we only have five questions that one.
Batman take uh takes his motive. House of sticks. Sign on the door says, Miss. <laughs> we don't have to, this is when you marry a girlfriend. Wait, are we playing as Kelso right now? There's no need to come into the office, Miss Lichtman. If you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign here. 20,000. I don't accept this. What do you mean you don't accept? I think you're pushing your luck, lady. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A $200 policy with a $20,000 payout? You should... I don't want the money. What do you mean, you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. Okay. Let me get the case file. We actually play as him the entire time. There's got to be more in these files. like your friend took a hell of a fall. I'm sorry for your loss. His cranium was shattered probably when he struck his head on the roof beam. I don't know if we're supposed to click on anything else. <laughs> Hold on one second. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course not. It's be a claim play out. What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Lou Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. What are you talking about, Ms. Lichtman? This was an industrial accident. How do you know that? Because it says right here in black and white. Do you believe everything that you read, Mr. Carso? Okay. You and Buck Walter weren't married? No. Then how did you become his beneficiary? We were family friends. You expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk? Well, I'm not buying it. I think you should tell me what the hell is going on. You really want to know? Yes. We were interned together on Ellis Island, resident alien Germans whose parents had been killed by Nazis. You see the irony in that, Mr. Kelso? We spent four years there. So the roof collapsed. Accidents happened. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Miss Lichtman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. I'm intrigued, Miss Lichtman. I really am. But you're going to have to give me something if you want me to get involved in this. There is a conspiracy surrounding Elysian Fields and the new houses they are building. I believe your insurance company is involved. That's pretty heady stuff, Miss Lichtman. Flimsy, but heady. 
I've told you what I know, Mr. Kelso. What are you going to do about it? All right, Ms. Flexman. One final question. Yes. What's your address? Is that the usual? Is there anything usual about this case, Ms. Lechtman? The address is on the letter, Mr. Kelso. The address? Not the phone number. <laughs> Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack, upstairs. All right, looks like we're playing as Jack. Okay. <laughs> uh, yo, Corrine, man. <laughs> Thank you for the follow there. How you doing? I'm trying to imagine you with a personality. I guess this one up here. Yep. Mr. Benson? You wanted to see me? Ah, yes, Jack. I'm just trying out a new putter. I notice Elsa Lickman in the lobby. It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. Like I said, Curtis, this is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady, Elsa Lickman, is refusing a 20 grand payout. Elsa Lickman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. Yep. She has a fine pair of good old L.A. Noir. She's the beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwell. Making good progress, too. killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields. I honestly don't remember this you know, part at all. I'm familiar with or a lot of these road. cases. We move in similar circles. And I used to love this game well, back Ms. in the Lickman day. Is making some pretty serious accusations. She says the case stinks and that She's a very happened. highly strung girl, Jack. Strung out might be a better way to put it. It's a pretty generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. I can't make her take the money, Deal sir. with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. Do Whoa. I have to do everything? No, sir, you don't. Fine, Jack. Fine. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. Thanks, Mr. Benson. Oh All boy. The world comes from Holland. Your car, Mr. Kelso. Please, baby roll. Thanks, kid. Hold E to skip to your destination. Ah, beautiful. Since we don't have a, uh, uh, a partner, that's really nice. Elysian Field Set, or. Er, I always say Elysium. Now I forget how you say it. L. Saiyan? <laughs> what do we got here? That's not how my pop taught me to mix it. Someone is cutting corners. Remember playing it when you were younger? Same, same. It's crazy, it's been out for nine years. Bulldozing and starting again. Leland Monroe, the man with the grin. Looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. There we go. You just can't be walking around down here. I'm Jack Kelso from California Fire and Life. I don't care if you're from the Vatican. Buzz off. I'm <laughs> investigating the accidental death of a Lou Buckwalter and- You deaf? Do I have to beat on you? Looks like you do. <laughs> you're a real- There we go. 
I came to see the house where Lou Buckwalter died. You were just about to offer to show me the way. It's out the gate and three houses down on the left. Don't know what you're looking for, smart guy. There's nothing there. Then I'll poke around in the rubble. Fine. As long as you're out of my sight. Demolished house. Is that its destination? I love how they leave everything in the right place when they're done, just done investigating, right? They just pick up what they wanted and then they put it right back. The place falls down <laughs> and then they bulldoze it. What gives here? Nothing. It's a brick. Don't need this. Only hmm. Okay, I see. Keystone Films. Keystone Films? Who gets their lumber from a film studio? What the? Investigator down. Okay. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> he screams for his life there. I forgot that you can do that. It doesn't affect your case anyways. <laughs> oh wait, we can call in about uh, this thing. Also, apparently if you do F, you can ask for directions. Hey, there's such a thing as soap, you know. Say, could I borrow some of that mascara? <laughs> Give him a call. Jack Kelso, California Fire and Life Investigator. I need an address on the Keystone Film Company. No, thank you, ma'am. Nice. Okay. Uh, looks like you're gonna have to run back over to the car. You know, I'll just take this thing. 
why not? The Stone Film Studios. America is the lucky country. Whoa. Hi, Doesn't Mac. look like much I'm of a uh... California fire and life. I'm looking into an industrial accident. Here? No, not here. At a housing development over on Normandy Avenue. So? I found some lumber over there, had the Keystone name printed on it. We've been close since 41. Never quite made the transition to talkies. The Suburban Redevelopment <sighs> Fund are pulling the place down. Know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nix. Mind if I take a look around? I'm kind of hungry. If someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. Is there a key to the gate? No. The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Fields. They're working Elysian. on a housing development over at Wilton and Santa Monica. You'll have to hop it. <laughs> no problem. See what we got. Nothing's popped up yet with like a investigate icon. Oh, here we go. Right here? Yep. So this is where their lumber comes from? one way to keep your costs down. Too bad it won't support a roof. Hmm. Gotta be something else around here. Wonder what's left in the buildings. Is there a way inside? Not there. Screening room. Let's see what the rich and powerful have to say for themselves. Oh, you can open it up. The reel should be nearby. Guess that's not it. <laughs> Is it inside of this guy? There you go. In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen joined forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund pledges to speed up housing development for returning GI. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He's our latest investor in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Doctor, this is Curtis Benson. He's vice president of the California Fire and Life. We're pleased to meet you, Doctor. Ray Gordon, editor of the Times. Doctor. District Attorney Donald Sandler and Police Chief Warren. Gentlemen, 
I am delighted to be in such exalted company. You're making quite a name for yourself, Doctor, amongst the thespian fraternity. I find that those of artistic temperament are often of a fragile mental disposition. It's a short step from miscreant to recidivism, Doctor. Very true. But I think we could all agree that the City of Angels does rather well basking in the reflection of the motion picture industry. Hear, hear. And it's something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream, and Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So, how is your new development selling, Leland? Can I throw them up fast enough, Ray? And that's part of the problem, Leland. Washington is receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor for public housing. God damn it, Ray. Public housing is tantamount to communism. Now, that's why we fought this goddamn war. I'm telling you, it's reds by the back door. You can't have it both ways, Leland. The new freeways are being built to service all your developments out in the boondocks. Jesus, this is They're long. all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean uh, our pockets, Leland. We're all investors. Of course, Curtis. So, when will the freeway bond be passed on? It still has to be ratified. It takes a long time to raise three billion dollars. I need to find a game well or a telephone. In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen join forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Alright, I guess. That's some pretty heavy evidence right there, too. Oh, there's newspaper? Uh, I guess we can't use it. Okay. Operator, think you could put me through to police dispatch? Thanks. Putting you through now. This is Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Jack, how can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buckwalter case? Mr. Benson, are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen very clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight. Do you hear me? Sure. Yes, sir. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Lou Buckwalter. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Putting the call through. Hello? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. Yes, and what have you found? It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Meet me at the Blue Room. I work there tonight. I take a break around nine. I'll be waiting at the stage door. We can talk then. Auf Wiedersehen, Mr. Kelso. Thanks, ma'am. Nice. Uh, fast forwards until that, I guess. One second, chat.